We're going to be uh, testing this uh, Trombetta uh, solenoid. came out of uh, 2003 Winnebago. There's the part number. Um, basically, my batteries aren't charging in the coach. And the alternator should be doing that. This is that acts as a switch, which basically tells it when the um, when to charge. And this switch needs to be activated. Um, and right now, this is supposed to be the big thing that that uh, you're supposed to check if you're not if your coach batteries aren't charging. So I took this out, and we're going to just do a bench test. So number one thing to make sure that you have is a good ground. I have it grounded to this car. Um, because I needed to use my power probe that's also connected to the car battery because I need to run 12 volts into this post and it needs to be grounded to create that magnet to, to compress and, and uh, allow the connection. Um, so I have a, a voltmeter. My voltmeter I have tested to um, resist inner ohms and it's gonna basically make an, a sound like such if the connection is open. First thing I want to do is I want to make sure I have a good ground. So I'm just going to touch my voltmeter. Don't push any buttons, just touch it. And if I have that green light and I hear a tone, that means the voltmeter has a good ground. And now we should activate. So first thing I'm going to do is send power to it and it should click if, it, if their solenoid is working properly. You hear that click? That means it's activating properly. Now I'm going to make sure that it's actually getting a good connection um, when it activates. So right now we have no sound. There's no connection, but you can see if I touch the same probe, my voltmeter's working. Anywhere else, you know, I don't have a, a tone. So everything should be good. Here we go. We're going to send 12 volts. You see it's having some issues. And we're not getting a, a signal. Test it a couple times. Might want to move things around. Make sure your probes are your connections are good readjust them obviously we're not getting that the connections not going through you can tell that it's grounding out or doing something on my probe there's a good connection nothing okay now we're going to switch these over here oh, all of a sudden now we have a good connection so it just could have been my um, voltmeter. Oh, there it doesn't work anymore. Oh, now it's working, but you hear it cutting off. There's obviously an issue with this uh, solenoid, just like everybody says. Um, even though it tested positive at the beginning, or sorry, at the end here, um, it could have tested positive at the beginning, and then you... you uh, Go ahead and count this out, and all of a sudden, um, you're into your RV looking for other problems when, in fact, it was a solenoid the whole time. Remember, the solenoid stays open and it charges your battery, so it needs to stay open the entire time. Um, it needs to hold that, that position the entire time. Obviously, when I was keeping it on there, it was failing and not keeping a constant charge to the batteries, which is going to be no bueno. Anyway, thanks for watching.